What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the touch type tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along then as usual you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay I'll pass you over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template here, we can find the touch type tool underneath the normal type tool over on the left hand toolbar. Clicking and holding, we can find this at the very bottom and you can see the keyboard shortcut for this is Shift T. So to use the touch type tool, we have to have some text to use it on. You can see if I just click within my artboard, nothing is going to happen. So we have to use this on existing live text. So I'm going to zoom in to our example text over here and if I simply click on one of these characters you can see it's going to get highlighted. I can do this with any one of these. I can't select multiple characters at once though so it's worth bearing in mind that this is to adjust formatting on a single character at a time. So with a character selected I can now click and drag to actually reposition this. So we're essentially adjusting the kerning here between the E and the X. It's worth noting that these changes are going to apply to the letter you have highlighted and any any letters to the right of it. So if I now select the letter E and move this, you can see the X and T are also going to move with it. And basically I can just freeform reposition these letters to my choosing, which is slightly easier than having to go into my tracking settings and manually adjust this. Now the only thing is holding shift isn't going to lock this to the same baseline, which can be a slight issue. So you have to be quite careful of the up and down movement if you want to keep it on the same baseline. The other option though with it still selected is that I can just use my arrow keys so right and left as well as up and down to adjust the baseline shift as well. So what I'll do is select the last T and I'm going to move this across and I'm also going to adjust the baseline shift of this letter E, pull that in slightly towards the letter T as well. So this can just be a slightly easier way to adjust this formatting. Now moving on to our next example I'm going to hit shift T again to select my touch type tool. We have a few more options with this tool. So with a letter selected you'll notice that we have this bounding box and we essentially have four different options with this bounding box. So the top left handle you can see my cursor changes to an up and down arrow so I can adjust the height of this and it's going to skew the letter based on my mouse movements. If I go over to the letter X here the handle sitting above the bounding box is the rotation so I can actually rotate these characters as well and I'm still able to reposition these as well after making any of these changes. The top right handle will scale the letter proportionately so you can see this is the equivalent of holding shift when you scale an object in Illustrator it's going to lock the aspect ratio and the bottom right handle is going to adjust the width of the character so I can stretch this out if I want to as well. Now what's cool about this is this is all still live text so if I switch back to my regular type tool I can still select any of this and change the text. If I highlight a specific character that I've edited and change this to something else you can see the formatting that I applied with the touch type tool is still being maintained. But that's it for an overview of the touch type tool in Adobe Illustrator. 